In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually sync your audio from an external microphone or perhaps your phone to your videos in Wondershare Filmora. And this is coming up. Hey everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. So sometimes you may record a video and then you would have to use an external microphone because you can't actually use the sound from your camera or your phone. So you borrow an external microphone and after that, you need to sync that external audio to your video and make sure that it is in alignment. And that is what I'm going to show you how to do that in Wondershare Filmora. So let's quickly head over to the software. Now, this is Wondershare Filmora 9. The first thing you need to do is you need to import your video files and then your external audio files. So I'll go over to my folder over here and I'm going to make use of the video that I recently posted on what's your favorite piece of tech. All right, so the first thing is first, let's select all of the audio. So we have two audio here and then we have two videos here. For clarity's sake, it is better if you rename your audio files so that it wouldn't be as confusing as it may be. So you're going to drag all your files right from here into the timeline and then you make sure that it is at the media files over here. If you did something like an interview like this, it has to be multiple base. So for this one, we are going to start with the first video over here. Now, first things first, you're going to drag the video onto your timeline. So you drag it onto the video timeline over here. Now, the first thing you need to do is you're going to make use of the sound waves that is coming out of this. So you're going to double click on your video file and then you go to the audio side from here. What I want to do is I want to open up the volume like that so that the waves will be way higher. So you realize from here that I actually started my recording or I started recording the video way long before I even started the actual interview. So I want to get to the exact point that I started and that is this place. So I'm going to mark this place right there and then I can go ahead to press control B to make a selection. So I'm going to get rid of all these parts leaving where I started now in cases like this this is clearly an interview so I know exactly where I started from but in cases where you are recording a solo video where you are recording something like a sit down video it is advisable that you do something like a clap or you do something like um, using something to hit the table that will actually cause the spike so you see that the sound wave coming from this side is very less and then once it gets to this point it rises up so you need to do something that is going to cause the sound wave to rise up and that is going to help you to make the cut another tip that can help you also is you can open the timeline by dragging to the right side and close it by dragging to the left side so that you can see exactly so now once i make the split i can actually just select the second one so you see that we have two clips over here so i'll select the first one right click and go to ripple delete so it is going to basically take it to the very first point or the very initial stage where it started and then i can close my timeline a little bit so i know that i've gotten my sound from the camera at this point so if i play it back all right so please don't say there you have it now the next thing we have to do is we have to work on the external audio so i'm going to drag that this is the audio for enyo and i'm going to drag that also onto the timeline so for clarity's sake you can just go ahead and turn off this particular eye over here so that your video will be gone you don't hear any sound from your video you don't even see your video so we are going to focus on the audio from here so you realize also from the audio that i started recording the video long ago before pressing on the audio button and i recorded this audio from the iphone so you realize that when i play it back <coughs> 
yes this is where we want so this is where i actually started asking the question so right over here we're going to make a cut over there and then we press ctrl b to make the cut now once we have this we are going to select the left one the left clip right click on it and then we are going to report delete now let's go back to the very beginning of our clip and then you can see even from the sound waves from the video and then the audio that it's actually in line but let's play to make sure that it is actually in line so we can turn on the eye over here so we can play both the audio from the video and then the external audio to make sure that none is delaying all right so please what's your name Amenio. sorry Amen. all right so now that we know that it is in sync or it has synced properly we don't want the audio from the video so what we're going to do is there are two technical the first one is you can select the video clip right click on it and go to mute i personally love to use this one because it still gives me the audio wave from the video so that i can easily cut it along so if, now that all of these ones are synced, i can easily just make ctrl b cut here cut here and then i can basically be cutting on and off so if i make a mistake or there is something you can just cut to match the audio like that the second way you can do this is also you can right click on the video file and go to detach audio in this case you're going to permanently remove the audio so that there, there will not be any audio in the video and then you're going to make use of the external audio that you recorded so let me just bring this back but you're going to make use of the mute and now since the audio from the video is muted if you play along this is what we have all right so please what's your name i'm Enyo. sorry Enyo. Enyo. and that basically means that we just went from this all right so please to that and yes we've actually synced our external audio to our main video in wondershare filmora like i said in the beginning if you conducted or if it is an interview style once you get to let's say this very end where you have your audio ending here and let's say the first interview is done you would have to follow the same procedure to actually do the same thing for the second video so you bring your video footage or your clip video clip to the timeline and then you find exactly where you started asking the questions or where you started talking so right over there and then you are going to make a cut bring your audio file or external audio also to the timeline and then you are going to cut to sync the same it is basically the same procedure so if you have multiple videos or multiple interviews you can just follow the same procedure to work all things out and once you're done with your audio you can basically go ahead and color grade your footage to make it look nice and if you don't know i posted this interview or asking people questions what their favorite piece of tech is on my channel recently you can check it out so we're going to leave the color grading or the color correction part for another video let me know in the comment section if you'd want to see how to take your videos or from a raw file like this to color graded like this one i hope this video was helpful if it was don't forget to like subscribe and share and let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section as i'll be there interacting with you thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video Innocence here and bye.